What is going on guys? My name is James, or thanks Sia, and welcome to your weekly Minecraft snapshot update. And as you can see from the bottom left hand corner, today we are taking a look at Minecraft 12W27A. Now, much like last week's snapshot, unfortunately there is nothing really for me to show you as all they have really been working on are bug fixes. However, the reason why I made this video is for two very important reasons. The first one is to tell you that they have officially announced the release date of Minecraft 1.3 and that is scheduled for August the 1st, so that is good news there. But also with the release of this snapshot, they published a massive list of all of the things that they have been working on at Mojang and I thought it might be very very interesting to talk through it because it's quite detailed and it tells you all of the things that are definitely going to be in 1.3. So, yeah, I'm going to jump in game to give you guys something a bit more interesting to look at, and we're going to talk through them one by one. So, they're actually labelled on the website in different sections, and these are Minecraft 1.3 The Good, Minecraft 1.3 The Bad, and Minecraft 1.3 The Ugly. So, we're going to start with Minecraft 1.3 The Good. So, the first thing that they have been working on is a better and more stable multiplayer experience, which is fantastic news for all you people who play on multiplayer servers. So, your connection should be improving, there should be less bugs, there should be less glitching, and it should be a much smoother and stabler Minecraft experience. I don't think stabler is a word, a more stable experience. So that is good news, and as well as that on the multiplayer experience, they have also added an encryption system to prevent session stealing, and they have updated the chatting screen to allow for easier editing and clickable links which is great news for server admins or server owners because it sort of gives you a bit more power and a bit more customization of your server. Okay, so the next thing that they have added is they have been working on the LAN system, which we have discussed previously in other snapshots. However, if you haven't heard of it before, uh, this has added the possibility to share your single player worlds with friends who are on the same local network. So that is great news for people if you play together in a house or something like that. Um, as well as that, they have also added the single player commands. So, you know, slash game mode, slash give, slash XP slash kill even which is a very strange one, but yeah those have been enabled and added Okay, so as well as that they have officially added the emerald ore into the game uh, as well as that They've added the emerald uh, trading system, which is interactive with the NPC villagers So as well as that they have also worked on the what I like to call the intelligent NPC villager So villagers will add and remove items depending on what you buy So it's not as simple as you know You get one thing in you get the other thing out over and over again There is an element of chop and change between the items which you can uh, you know buy and sell so, yeah, next things we have the book and quill, which has been added into the game, which is fantastic news for adventure map makers and adventure map players. And they have also been adding terrain changes and bonus chest features. So, you know, it's, it's fantastic in terms of I'm hoping that the terrain changes are the sand and jungle temples. So if we see those in 1.3, it will be really good in terms of exploring and, you know, survival mode play. And yep, they have also added that bonus chest feature to help new players get into the game. As well as that, they have added the trap wire, and there is a massive list of all the tweaks and changes they have made to certain items. So, they have added the new stairs, the new half slabs, we have added the cocoa plants, um, the tweak dispensers, they have also tweaked the leaves, cauldrons, levers, gravel, pressure plates, cookies, buckets, boats, minecarts, ice, and furnaces, and you also get Minecraft orbs from mining and smelting, and not just killing monsters. So, an easier way to level up. Oh, and breathe. <laughs> okay, so next we are going to take a look at Minecraft 1.3 The Bad. And this is actually quite a major piece of news, and it's not game-changing, but kind of what it means is because they are changing the way single-player is played, the game resources requirements have increased. So basically what that means is when loading up Minecraft and generating worlds, uh, you'll have to use more CPU in order to do this. So... You know, the, the minimal system requirements to play Minecraft may go up slightly. And I'm not talking playing Skyrim on Ultra Graphics here, but I'm just kind of saying that, um, you know, it will take a bit more CPU power to play Minecraft these days, which 
you know, in my opinion, isn't that good a news because I personally regard Minecraft as a game that anyone can play no matter how bad your computer is, but realistically all this block generation does drain quite a lot of CPU, um, so yeah, let's hope, fingers crossed, that that won't be too bad. However, in conjunction with that, they have announced that there will be no fixes or improvements until the Minecraft 1.4 release, so you know, hopefully if it's not too bad it will be dealable with, and then when 1.4 comes out there should be some optimization to the CPU, you know, uses and all that stuff. So that's it for the 1.4 the bad, but now, sorry, the 1.3 the bad, but now we're going to take, take a look at Minecraft 1.3 the ugly. So these are problems and tweaks that might be pushed back to 1.4 again. So they're having a problem with the lighting system at the moment, which can be seen by black chunks randomly appearing on the map. So they haven't currently found a solution to this, and they're going to kind of fix that at 1.4 and they're not going to try and fix it too much at the moment and the main reason for that is because it's taking a long time and they really want to get a Minecraft update out. And as well as that, they are also releasing 1.3 without an API, or the uh, it's called the modding API, so I'm not 100% sure what that means. I'm hoping it mean, doesn't mean that no one can make mods updated to 1.3, but correct me if I'm wrong on that because I'm not too sure. But yeah, they're, they're just saying that they're not releasing it with the modding API because it would take too long to get the update out. So that's kind of that for... Uh, the ugly, however, there's one more thing, which is that they have released an extremely basic version of Adventure Mode, which in case you don't know, al doesn't allow you to break blocks or that kind of stuff, which is tailored for Adventure Map making, so that's very good news for Adventure Map players and Adventure Map makers, however, that's very much a work in progress and a lot more uh, time and effort will be put in that when Minecraft 1.4 will be worked on, so I'm not too sure how far away that will be in the future, but it might be some time. So yeah, I know not too much action in this video, but a lot of information to absorb. I hope you guys found this useful. Thank you very much for watching. It has been a pleasure. As always, thanks and see ya.